Merry Good Friday. <laughs> the big three is back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, First of all, thank you, Black. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what we are. That's good. Oh, Black yeah. Slim, Mungani, yeah, thank good. you for thank you for standing in. But uh, yeah. it's time to be problematic. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's problematic on the weekend Jesus died. That's 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 yeah. I don't think we should. What this negotiable? Too. Is that? What I mean, maybe we gotta be like sensitive and wholesome because. People are crying. We're always wholesome. Someone's oh, watching I, Passion I, of the Christ right now, and they're not watching this, and they are crying. Guys. Okay. Have you guys watched Passion of the Christ before? I haven't yet because I'm scared of you crying. You haven't watched Passion of the. I'm, I don't want to cry. That's my problem. I haven't. Uh, but it's white Jesus. Surely you're gonna just have a straight face and go. It's white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what you're trying to say is. Like, yeah, he deserved it. He deserved it. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't whip him. Knock those nails in harder. <laughs> what do you mean only in his um, in his palms? <laughs> Come on. It's for all nah. the 400 uh, years of slavery. Uh, wow, TK. Welcome. Okay. Clearly. Okay. <laughs> He's back. Welcome back, my brother. Welcome back. Hey, man. I'm sitting so weird. Dadville is interesting. Dadville? Mm. We haven't mm. told everybody. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Like, oh. Like, like all of a Sunday. <laughs> Dadville. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was away going on a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the end thing now is to say that um, you've been in isolation. <laughs> is that it? God called you into isolation. Oh, okay. That's the end thing to no, say no, now. No, no, hi hibernation. Is, hibernation. Um, no, yeah. It's, hi it's isolation. Not, it's Not isolation. I yeah. Where they say oh. God called them into isolation where you just need to cut off from the world. Yeah. What a lot of free space. Can't you know? It's just life was... <laughs> <laughs> life was lifing. Yeah, then you come out and say, no, Jesus wanted a private one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I guess okay. life was lifing positively. I mm. just became a father. Um, Congratulations. Bro. <laughs> As you can That's see, I'm cute. tired. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I had to take a, take a break and focus on the baby. Oh, and there nice. was one left. <laughs> <laughs> you make it seem... I get you, though. <laughs> I get you. I so get you. Uh, there's a lady watching this going, noted. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I'm about to. I will be in your DMs. <laughs> but it's yeah, been, report back next week and let us know. It's been interesting, guys. Mm. Um, I, I think the interesting thing with becoming a father is how... I, I've heard people speak about this, but I didn't. I think it didn't make sense to happen to me. Um, the instant change. Yes. There is an in, There's things you think about ahead of time and yeah. then... When it happens, like, okay, medical aid, mm -hmm. life insurance. I need to make sure I set you up because it's not that our parents didn't do a good job. It's just we know a bit more. Yeah. So now you want to make sure things are set. So when she turns 15, 18, there's no questions. There's no uncertainty. Everything's set. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's been, it's quite a privilege to some degree to be a father, especially a father to a girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, <laughs> all I of think. your past <laughs> mistakes. Are you like thinking about dear Lord? Nah, I'm not thinking about that. I, <laughs> I am thinking about the attitude she's gonna have. She's really pulling the faces I pull. Like, okay, I'm, I need to stop oh, saying. Oh, look at stuff. God. I want to share the name. Uh, <laughs> no. nah, no. nah. I'll, I'll share that end of the year. See, or so. uh, mm. nigga, do you want me to go across this table right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Should we get into it? It's, it's the fact that you got all deep and you've been a dad for like two weeks. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's it, been that, a dad for that like three days. Stuff <laughs> would, will change you. It's it's an absolute flip. Were you there during the birth? Yeah. Oh, nice. Of course he was. He wasn't here. He was there. No, 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 no. There's there's sitting in the waiting room and then there is there for the the labor. Oh, the actual labor. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm. Because it's very interesting. The black dynamic and being there for yeah. men yeah yeah That's what's what what's the general concept? that they just don't do it some my um, i forced my ex well i didn't force him i was like i'd like for you to be there and i prepped him for it prior you know i we watched tlc and that program where they would give like birth on tv so i was like this is going to happen so he was there but my mother ex-mother-in-law wasn't <laughs> you wasn't, had to program him. i had to i had to like he wasn't he wasn't really sure if he wanted to do it right okay. um he wasn't sure what to expect he knew what was going to happen but you're just not very you know confident about being there like what am i going to do what do i need to be there for kind yeah. of thing um so there was my Did side the reason why um 
No, he was like screaming at the doctors and stuff like, guys, come on, this woman is in pain, you gotta help, you know. Um, if he was there for the first one, I think he might have fainted. The second one was just like, we're done, next, let's move, mm. you know. It was hectic, especially for him, but for me it was like very, very quick. But I needed him to, to be prepared mentally as to what's going to happen in yeah. there. I mean, you're never too sure, but I just wanted him to be prepared. Yeah. And so he was there. The doctors at the hospital, the nurses weren't very accommodating because black people don't do this and he's going to look at you funny and all of that stuff. And I was like, bottom line, I want him here. My ex-mother-in-law also, she was like, you don't do this. Hmm. So, yeah. So you don't, you don't, there the was, man doesn't saying, come in. Doesn't come in. Yeah. yeah, I'm told, I'm told like a lot of men in the Zulu, and correct me where, where I'm wrong, I'm, I'm told a lot of men in the Zulu culture don't do that. They don't go into the labor room. They wait. But yeah. that's not like, I don't know if that's, and that's what I've heard. That's what I've been told. That's not like a hospital rule, right? It's not a rule. No, no, no. no. Oh, you can have okay. one person in there, your sister, your mom, your friend. You can have one person, okay. your, your partner. Um, it's more of a cultural thing. Yeah. Yeah. What's th what's the reason that they gave? Is there a reason? Ex mother in law don't. said once mm -hmm. he sees exactly what happens there, he's never gonna see you the same again, which means your sex sex life is never And that's what I was thinking again. about, but yeah. I'm like, you don't need to stand there, you can stand on this side of the table. I suppose yeah. so. It's just Yeah, but Yeah. I didn't Because that's Cause like I'm planning to be. He in the was room. actually yeah. there. He's so standing he, in the wrong place. I, I would assume our generation wants to be in the thick of everything. Yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, there's probably. I mean, it's 2024. We still have men in our age group being abusive, and they come from fathers who are abusive. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah why yeah. aren't you fixing that? Yeah. So sure. to some degree, I want to go. Oh, men want to be involved in everything, but there's probably men who also don't want to be involved in everything, yeah. which is sad. <clears throat> um, I'd yeah. rather it be a personal choice than for you to say, well, my mama said I can't, so I'm not. You yeah, know? Yeah. I'd rather, I'd understand yeah, yeah. if it's a personal choice, but if it's because you yeah. want to please whoever, then for me it doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah, I watched enough Doctor series to know that you can stand on this side. Yeah. It's better. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be there no, on some... I don't think, <laughs> I don't think. I've, I have been traumatized. Mm. And, it, but it makes no sense though because yeah. because of even just that reasoning it, it, it's a valid reason yeah i don't think it's something that a man should see mm -hmm. out of context of being a doctor okay because a doctor for them <clears throat> they you're just a patient yeah and it's a medical procedure mm -hmm. and they don't see you again unless they are your doctor every time you give birth excuse yeah. me right um but for for your partner you you're different they see you different they see yeah. you through different lenses or yeah. mm -hmm. you're a different person to them yeah so i don't think they should see that in its detail mm. because we can say but you know it's childbirth blah, blah, blah. you can say that but i'm also just like kind of understanding the quote-unquote like you don't ever see that in your life and yeah. you see this yeah 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 yeah. Like you don't ever see it. Yeah. There's no way where mm. you're getting, you know, like, okay, I know it's a normal thing. Yeah. Like, even now, thinking about it is like, I don't know what that looks like. Yeah. Mm. Do you get know what I'm saying? Like, I can't yeah. fathom it. Yeah. yeah. I understand it in theory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm just like, just stand on the side, hold the hand, yeah. and say, you got it, baby. You got it's it. A, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a crazy, it's a crazy emotional trip. <laughs> like, you know, I, don't, I barely cry. That, I was okay. crying. I cried three times. Like, my man. Oh, man. What's going on? That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> this, is, this is like, you, you're not crying because of the pain that she's going through. You're crying because this is what we have done. Yeah, the, when I heard her first scream as she came mm. out, I, was, I just cried. Like, why? What, what is this? Are these tears? This is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like weird. Welcome. But it's like, wow. I see you differently now. Really? You know? Really? Yeah. yeah it's a, before, I'm still problematic. No, I know. I mean, that's that's like, <laughs> yeah, so obvious, tricky. you know, <laughs> obviously. But um, it's not just the way I see you. It's the way that now you interact. There's a softness to to somebody who, who goes through a birth. And I, I can't think of another word except accepts their child in the way that you have. Mm. Because of this pandemic that we have of men who don't care about their children, mm. you know? Um, so it's just, 
it's it's like what you you've shared you know the moments that you've shared with your 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 baby like that for me is i think that's why men who are single that are looking for people go to parks and stuff like that with their babies mm. because now we see you as somebody soft somebody who can look after you know a family that kind of thing now you don't look you know cray cray anymore you're still crazy but you're not yeah well that there's that little bit that's that's changed so interesting yeah, man. wow congratulations thank uh, you that's interesting <laughs> okay let's get into yeah. the problems just grab a cup you're watching before your weekend you watching before your weekend you watching before your weekend you watching before your weekend hey you watching before your weekend hey Hi. Mr. Yosta commits suicide. What? Sure. Oh, yeah. The, st- the CEO Allegedly. of the st- I, le- I had to go. You know, I read that. I was first shook because like, I got online yeah. and this headline pops up. And I'm like, wait, this is the Stainoff yeah. guy. Because he was about to get arrested in that week. I just, yes. oh, this is a Gavin Watson situation. This man yep. is not dead. Nah, he disappeared. There, there, there was video footage. Uh, was it News 24? Or was it a TikTok? Someone recorded footage of where he apparently committed suicide. Yeah. And there's this like pool of blood, but it's like that's that's not enough. That some that isn't that's weird. You don't do that. No one goes, Oh, this person committed suicide here. Yeah, let me go show you. Yeah. You're was doing it, too much. You're over explaining as well. Huh? Was he like like fined like Yeah, four hundred million. million. Like four hundred million. Yeah. Oof. Do you know what he did? I'd do it too. Do you know what he did? Do you know the guy? Four hundred million. Do you know the guy? Um yeah. Do you know I know the company. The, the stain off story. Yeah, 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 yeah I know yeah. that. It's the biggest yeah. heist recorded in SA. Yeah, hundred billion. How about that? Crazy. Sure. <laughs> but <laughs> thinking about it now, with that kind of money, you can disappear. No, most definitely. Yes, yeah. You can definitely disappear. There's no need. I'm disappearing. To I, I definitely would have really off yourself. That that did make me think of things like, oh, if I were to become a billionaire in South Africa, I'm probably going to fake my death, even if there is no problem. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be heard. Yeah. You must just know, you must just know there's a company is I created. If you become a billionaire, yeah, like don't. Okay. That's I'm, what I'm you, gonna you, I'm gonna act like I'm not around. I don't exist. Yeah. Just know I'm controlling things. Yeah. The Roth, the Rothschild yeah. family. Yeah. No one knows where they are. You know their company is not found on Google Maps. Yeah. Heck Imagine yeah. having so much money, you can say you can tell Google remove this part in the map. Yeah, for sure. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You don't have yeah, to be I mean, that you, big. I know of a company that can't be found. I know exactly where it is, but you can't find it on Google Maps. You don't have to be that big, right? But mean? why would you want to do that? It's very important, though. Like at some stage, I keep I like I tell people like, at some stage, I will like just not be accessible to to to, to general anybody public. In, that is what I'm talking about. So somebody's having a wedding, you can't control who I invite to my wedding, and we don't know where Calvin is. What what what? Yeah. I invite you, yeah. and then those people are like oh no, give more in the last of last week and yeah, but that's king. but that's fine. Do you know what usually happens is that. Most of the time, it's like the circle you go into mm. becomes that. But also, if I come to your wedding, people see me, but people don't really know. Ah, uh, okay. Right? I mean, if you think about hypothetically, next five, ten years, mm. whatever it is, a celebration. And I just pop up. Obviously, because we've been talking. Yeah, yeah. But I pop up. Whoever's there doesn't really know. Yeah. yeah. So it's just... Ellen's friend or TK's friend, yeah. mm. you know, and that's kind of like where it goes because even when I come, I just dress normal, mm. yeah, and maybe there's there was some sort of security check that you didn't know about, yes. yeah, like it was just a light yeah. one, some random guy dressed normal, just making yeah. sure everything is clear, and then I pull up, and yeah, I, you know, so they definitely like move like that. But what I also wanted to say is that at that level, also your circle is that mm. it's those type of families. Yeah, there's, so there's power guys, in being invisible. Yeah, so when they go on like holidays, that's just them. And if they in, it's hence why like what do you, uh, the, the whole Hamptons thing or yeah, places like yeah. that. There's one called uh, Saint Barnes mm. or Saint uh, Morris or yeah. Moritz or so yeah. whatever. Like where it's just like it's just wealthy people. Like it's a it's a city, but it's like a lodge. Yeah, yeah. because everybody that's there is just super wealthy. Yeah. And that's how they go on holiday. So no one's asking who's who. We just know we all have money. Yeah, no one's it's asking irrelevant. for e-wallets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but 
None but, of that. Interesting. You know, it's interesting when people become that rich. I feel like when when black people and correct, this is a conversation for all of us. When black people become become wealthy, there's this calling to try fix whatever has been broken. Aye. When white people become wealthy, ugh, it's super selfish. It's Yo, my yacht's too big. I need you to remove this bridge for the rest of the city so I can pass my... Jeff Bezos did that. Mm. Remove the bridge yeah, yeah, that I was for that. the city. I know, I know that one. Because his yacht couldn't fit. But I that's the that thing. One. There's no need for him to... It's the mentality. There's no need for him to, to fix generations of F-ups, right? Oof, before I can like, ma- uh, move a bridge and, and just move a mountain a little bit to the left because I don't like it how it's blocking my view. I need to make sure that, you know, smang mang of True. generations, you know, all of that is fixed. There's no time for that. And you, there's also a level of comfortability. There's a level of wealth, right? So everybody in your family can be okay. Mm. You know, people are staying in the burbs, but still, you know, they, they, they staying in the burbs, but they, they just making it. So you go mm. and help that person. Whereas Bezos will, <laughs> there's nobody that is just, everybody's okay. Like proper, proper, they fine, you know? So that's why you can now look and say, move that. It's, it's unfortunately, yeah, it's I going think, to be that way for a few generations still. I think, I think for them, it's like, like you're saying, as long as like the family's okay. Yeah. They're good. They go do whatever they want. And even if they go back, maybe it's just like a house, a car. Yeah. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Then they keep them moving. And that is the biggest difference. Yeah. It's like, then you've got all that money literally to yourself and your immediate family. Which is so crazy. I mean, I, I would want to shift policies. Like, okay, this is what we're going to change. This is yeah. how the country is going to move now. You'd want to shift policies? Yeah, if, if I had unnecessary money, I'm changing how... But who said they're not doing that? May, perhaps they, they are. They perhaps your Elons advantage. and your Zuckerbergs are. But Zuckerberg's been held accountable for a lot of, for a lot of nonsense that's going on on social media. Yeah. But, yeah, but that's what's actually happening. They are, for sure. To like, their benefit. To their benefit. You just not seeing it. So that's the problem. That's that, that. That's when I say the selfishness because it's to their benefit. It's not. Mm. I need to make sure when I'm dead, A B C actually works. That oh, the government can do the the, the simple things. We can actually say there's an issue. There's yeah. potholes. We're yeah. gonna get at least that. Done. No, you're absolutely mm. right. But that's the thing. Like they don't care about mm. the rest of the world. Yeah. You know, and hence for me the biggest one was like biggest example that I would use is COVID. Yeah. Like, we, they can explain it however they want to, and I need to actually not kind of say the word because I don't know how this is going to land on socials, but I guess that whole situation was not because it just so happened to happen. Mm. Because how did you, how do you have the conversation five years before, which is Bill Gates, have the conversation five years before yeah. and speak about how much money you'd be able to make of that vaccination. Yeah. And yeah. then it happens. Yeah. I'm like, that's insane. Mm. Do you know there's a, a That's insane. There's a hip hop song talking about COVID. I need I should have uh, you uh, you prompted. Okay, this. Can we stop saying the word. Okay. Of that thing, the of pandemic. That thing, that thing, the pandemic. The thing, thing. that froze the world. The, the froze the, the hip hop song happened before. Happened I think they said ten years or five years before it happened. He spoke about everything that happened. He said he he there's lyrics Do you like remember bodies. Who it is? Oh, that guy black. He's black. Probably. Um, he's not. He's not. A, he's not a popular rapper. I just saw it on TikTok and I went to go find the lyrics after yeah. the person mentioned it. He speaks about b- bodies on bodies are happening mm. in this year. It's the year 2020. Yeah. Um, what else did he say? The it's world is locked up. No one's allowed to move. Yeah. He's saying this years before. Mm. Yeah. It's you like, know what because you because it's the it's the rabbit hole of conspiracy theory mm-hmm. theories. Yeah. Excuse me. Like if you. If you sit in it, it's just that we don't have time. We have we have families to feed and <laughs> and we live in South Africa. We are dealing with low shedding. Yeah. You've got to pay tax. Yeah. Pay. We have things. But in America, th- they're subsidized halfway. So a lot of these guys mm. have time. Yeah. Right? But if you sit in it, you stumble upon conversations that give you such hectic chats. Because, and to that, I always say it's like, where does the Simpsons get the information? Mm, True. Mm. It's, that information is out somewhere. Mm. Yeah. You know? And I think it's like, if you sit and dig deep enough, especially also because you have a whole dark web, it's yeah. also another thing. 
That's also yeah. a whole other world. Yeah. But that for me, I think that stuff is not far fetched. Yeah. Like for somebody five, ten years ago to come across inf- this information and be like, yo, this is actually a real chat, also based on stuff that happened mm. before. Mm. You know? Maybe we must just get the Illuminati application for Oh my gosh. You <laughs> see, you see, you back. see now. <laughs> <laughs> you see. <laughs> Just need to fight full in, and nah. so we know what's happening next no. year. What do we need to be ready for? Hongani said we must stay away from this. He stuff. said stay away. So we're staying away. Yes. We're not wearing dresses and stuff. We just yeah, but going you see, to Diddy's no, party. Your level wow. of digging. Yeah. 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 He's back for real. Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't. Know. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. 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 That's no, thank a, you. That's <laughs> you know that's a new slang term now. No diddy. No diddy. Right? It's a weird. It's I don't weird. know. We're glamorizing certain things. I think it's. I think. I feel like twenty twenty four is the year of exposure. That's what's yeah. going on. A lot of things are coming out, mm. and it's not that it's never been conversations. It's just, oh no, these are more public conversations. Yeah. And people who are either participants or victims or witnesses are saying, you know what, I actually want to talk about this too. Whether yeah. it's Diddy, whether it's COVID, whether it's the economy, whether it's elections, people are coming coming out and saying stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, his, his house got raided recently, actually. What is it, like a day, two days ago? Mm. Yeah, Homeland Security pulled up on him. Like he's... What, he's, uh, is there more files? He's feeling it. Bro, he's, it's bad for that man. Sure. Like it's not... It's not tabloids, like it's bad, because I think I don't know if you if we spoke about it or if I mentioned the whole. There was a producer that there's a producer on record that's part of the whole case mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. came up with a whole bunch of tests. Someone Jones. Yes, and his mm. names, dates, mm. evidence, videos, oh, images, shit. the works. And I'm like, we just went from allegations. Did this person do, did, did he do something wrong to him? Is that why? But most definitely. Yeah, because. Um, yeah, else? but he was like, he was, he explained that in those happenings, how he was mistreated. Um, type of thing. You know, like, whether verbal abuse, physical, physical okay. abuse, being threatened, and sexual abuse, actually. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That also played part two. And. Um, the the I think the biggest error when I think about it is like because we've never really spoken about how what Diddy's drug relationship with drugs is, and I've always just been like, bro, you look you always look like you're on something really, yeah, you know. And when you're on something, obviously in your private home, you might use it too much or yeah. because feel like you're home or whatnot. But you home, but you also have people there and. And then you've got a feel like God he's try- complex. He's trying to be twenty three again every day. Always, you know, yeah. and that's why he hangs out with his sons the way he does. But now they're also in hot water because they're also within the case Part too. Of the thing. Sure. So he's actually facing, in summary, he's facing possibility of a RICO case. Mm. So it might be done, done because it's it's it looks like it's a sex trafficking ring. Oof. That's what it looks like: sex, drugs, and money. Mm. As soon as you have that combo, and you're moving things. Mm for not just yourself but other people and there's an exchange of money and you're taking people from here in a yacht to there yeah that's when you fall under jeff epstein's conversation mm. that's when you fall under a rico case the same way as all mm. the like the mafia guys would you would you guys be surprised if he was involved in tupac's murder i wouldn't i've, I've always had a theory about that i, would. Mm. I feel like some connection yeah she probably never thought about it. I've never thought about it. And then, <laughs> like, I, 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 like I've he's never gone. It. He died. And then he now we found died. out who did it. And we're like, okay. I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a movie, I think the last movie on Biggie, it's focused on the on journalists who eventually find out who was responsible. The top, the, the top or the, the shortest of three people who must have been responsible for the murder of Biggie. And, it, and he, his life ends there. He dies before mm. he says it's one of them. Um, for what it's called. And surprisingly, Diddy's not mentioned in that one because he was a suspect in the beginning, mm-hmm. but he's definitely a suspect for Tupac's one. Sure. At the same time, it's like if he, so I would not I be surprised if, it's, if he's connected to Biggie's murder as well. Should I give you my theory? Mm. Let me give you my theory so that we have it on record mm. and maybe we might pull this file up. Yeah. So my theory is that um, I definitely think, and I'm very confident that Diddy had something to do with Biggie's death because... 
a star is very valuable when they are alive but even even more, more when, when they're, they're dead. dead right and you can only have so much control and even towards the end if you listen to some of the conversations uh Diddy and Biggie were not really getting along towards the end just before he passed yeah. away but people don't know that file because of how close usually the foot the footage of the narrative yeah um and then so the whole conversation now is like I think he needed a reason. They needed to be a reason for Biggie to die. And him just getting killed didn't land. But the biggest feud at the time was Park and Biggie. And it's very easy. And both of them if you can get that connection, mm. you can you can get away, literally get away with being involved in this guy's death. So how do you do it? You do it the other way. Yeah. And coincidentally, you get the other guy and yeah. w- hence why the the guy that they got um he's obviously a witness out but he was involved in the killing of park yeah he says did he had he definitely he literally said did he had something to do with park's death yeah and that's a fact so from that park passed away then it raises the alarm that yeah. biggie then we get biggie yeah. now he's he's made so much money off big's legacy mm. so much money i hope the mother got honored with some money uh, honored 20 20000 rand why not Two hundred thousand, why not? Coincidentally, both ah. of, both Big and Park were talking about leaving their labels at the same time. They spoke to each other. They both were going to leave their labels and do something together. Mm. And it was very easy for it was very easy for for Diddy to also not be looked at because of how Shug was. Yeah, Shug was this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, so even though Shug was with Park when Park got mm-hmm. killed, people still felt. It was sure. Yeah, but that was also weird because like, yeah. so it, it made was, more sense. There were so many smokes and mirrors that nobody ever thought it would be Diddy. You, you, sorry, I know we're going down a rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We gotta yeah, go yeah. back, <laughs> back, okay, back cool. go back to our notes. But as long like, as you got us back. The Tupac murder is so weird because have you seen how thick Sugar is, or overweight, or what, what plus size he is? Mm-hmm. You see those bullets in the car if you look at the photos. How did not one bullet hit a fat man? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were, yeah, yeah. I just want to know. Skinny Tupac got all the bullets. Shug's right next to him. Nothing. Not a single bullet hits an overweight man. Come uh, on. You telling me the views, there were snipers? The views that are shared by this man <laughs> are the views of this man by himself. Disclaimer. Not I'm of, just saying. Not of that of the other two. <laughs> Us. I'm just saying, if you're overweight and you're next to someone who's getting murdered, you are collateral. Yeah. Like, some, yeah. You should have got a wound. You came out it's with no. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Unless these yeah. guys are trained. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, I think I think at the time that it it comes out, it is going to be like. And possibly now with you know Diddy just being in the situation that he is in, because it's gonna unfold. It's gonna unfold to the shooting of the Shane guy, the artist, there was some other artist named something Shane or whatever, mm-hmm. okay, or Sean, that did, what, eight, ten years mm. for shooting he didn't do because Diddy was like, yo, you taking the fall for this type of conversation. We'll look after your family. We'll look after your family, which he didn't. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. The, do you want to say something? No, it, for me, it's it's what you were just saying just now about if you had that kind of money, you were going to disappear, right? Mm-hmm. For me, it starts there because nothing can touch you, right? You've got so many people in your pocket and if you don't have them in your pocket, you can. Mm -hmm. You have the potential to just say to this judge, to this whatever, that guys, look, this is what it is. I can sort out this municipality. I get it starts with levels Mm. and levels. So you can, you can, you can move in whichever way that you can. So he had the money to say, take the fall for this, you know, um, He's, he's got money already, but now he's so corrupted that he had to now go into um, laundering and, and allegedly all of that yeah, stuff. Allegedly. allegedly, you know? Mm. So, so for me, it's like, let's start with the man, money thing. Where do you stop? Mm. With what? Acquiring money? I mean, it's like... With like acquir- yes, acquiring money and the power that, that it affords you. Because now you've already gotten, your business is doing extremely well, et cetera, et cetera. Then comes another opportunity. And it's a little bit in the gray area, but it's, there's nothing to it. You know, even if somebody has to like ask about it, it's fine. But then okay. you go worse Sorry, and guys, worse. we're going to continue down this rabbit hole. I don't think we're going to get to our notes. 
Because I think I have a response to what you said. Yeah. I was listening to a, a radio presenter yesterday speaking about this. Yeah. The question she asked her audience was, do you need money for love? Mm-hmm. And then she eventually, she got her answers in. This is a South African radio station. Yeah, I don't want to mention okay. her name because I don't think she's that great. But no, no, no. Like, ah, you yeah, don't have yeah. to mention the name. I don't <laughs> to know is this is a South African. Yeah, it's a South African one. <laughs> okay. It's basically, it's a station we should be on eventually. <laughs> Leave that. Continue. Um, she said, when you're in love, your desire for money changes. And I was thinking about that, like, oh, that's an interesting way to see it. That you only push for money when you can't find love. That's good. Because they're both drugs in some, in some yes. sense. Yes. They are. And if you, if you have one, you, you, don't really want, you don't really have a desire to keep acquiring love. Yeah. Because one's being fulfilled. I'm like, yeah. okay, that's an interesting viewpoint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, I guess as men... You can be so in love that you need more money to keep mm. the queen yes. happy. Yes, yeah. that's good. But yeah. but your, I guess your motive isn't to go, I need to become a billionaire for her. It's I just need to make sure I have enough to take on a holiday. Yeah. yeah. But there was an interesting conclusion that she got to. Like, oh, but when you're in love, your desire for acquiring money changes. Mm. That's good. Um, what's your word? Hmm? Uh, yeah. no, I'm just <laughs> interesting, though. I just have to, guys, you know when it comes to, like, blackouts and flashbacks, that has been my, <laughs> my life. This past, flashbacks of what? Of this past weekend. So oh, I'm just okay. trying to, like, separate <laughs> reality from, you know, what I need to say. But I think, I think that's very true. That is very true. Um, yeah. You get, you get somebody who's in a very high-powered position um, that's going out uh, or married to somebody who isn't you know, because of what she received. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say it over and over and over again, that if you talk to the core need of a man or a woman, all of everything else falls away. Yes, it's needed. You need money to survive, to carry on and whatever. But um, everything else falls away if you can speak to my core need Mm -hmm. as a woman. I think, Mm -hmm. I think, um, so I'm actually thinking about it now. So on one part, I do agree with you. And I think that's on, and from an average person's perspective, mm-hmm. right? But those people that have a high addictive personality, which I think all humans have addictive personalities, but some people have a higher, those people, when they encounter that money drug, I think it's harder for that change to happen, even if they find love. And those are the conversations where you found it and because of that other thing, you went back. Mm -hmm. Mm. You went back because the guy you're with loves you as in your his whole world type conversation and he does da 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 da. But he doesn't do it like that. He's not Mm -hmm. really giving you the twenty thousand to go blow and he's not really putting you in the yacht and changing Ferraris and Lambos and that he's not really doing it like that. He's taking care of you. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not that. This is somebody that's experienced it before. Yeah. That goes back to that addiction. The drug the addiction aspect is what I'm going like really mentioning. Yeah. That I think maybe even in this case where there's also the element of what you experience first, which addiction you catch on first. That's good. Mm. Right? So mm, if yeah. you had that love first, then this thing comes. You might be all the way in uh, Amalfi Coast in Italy, but, you know, on that whatever you are, blah, 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 but just feel like, ah, yeah. I know what love feels like, and yeah. this is just not it. Yeah. yeah. And... It's why we've probably seen people that are on the other side of the financial spectrum, but just there's nothing. Mm. Mm. And that's also because, and that could have been from my relationship with my mother, my father, my grand love. And now that person maybe passed away or there was whatever. And now they're just not experiencing that. And they just long for that. Yeah. And I'm also, so I'm speaking about like from both ends, like even the other way, it's like, Mm. yes, you love me, but... Could it could it maybe be a race thing? Like I feel like white people can make it coexist. Both can make what coexist? Like both love and money. They can make them both coexist. Yeah, both drugs. Okay. Yeah. You know, like to a degree. I don't, I don't I don't think I, the idea of finding balance I don't think is a real thing. I mean I guess if you if you if you in a family. You don't think so. 
You don't think you can have both? The, you can, but one will always trump the other. You are either drawn to want to win more money, or you are either drawn to want to make your family wholesome and happy. Okay. And you, they can they can work with each other, but mm-hmm. one will always be higher than the other. Let me disagree with you. Drug drug dealers, drug lords, drug kingpins. Mm-hmm. They've got both. They have the desire for power, hectically. Money, hate Pablo Escobar. Oh, so that's we pull a reference where he Pablo Escobar a million dollars, and they have that thing for their family at a very high level. Mm. So, yeah, right. But remember, like that reference, like he burnt a million dollars to keep his son warm. Yeah, two million. Two two million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I can see a black man going, ah, you, <laughs> you must, you must shiver tonight. You must shiver today. Uh-uh. I was just thinking like, I need, I need some men to step up. Like, <laughs> like step back. I mean, it's, it's, it's a crazy thought to go. So you, you couldn't go out and find wood. Cause you have trees outside your house. Hang in there, dog. I'm going to burn this bag. I'm hang in there. But, <laughs> but then again, he had, he had so much money he didn't even know how much he had yes mm. yeah. so two million means nothing but in the sense then so love is love wins over money in in this sense yeah yeah but then again he's willing to blow up a whole country to remain that's power yes yeah you get what i'm saying so i'm saying both extremes exist and that's why also maybe let's even say that Maybe they shouldn't exist at both extremes. Like that's actually unhealthy, because then it's like you create this, this I don't know what it is, because a lot of like mafia cartels and all of those type of they have both extremes, yeah. mm. and you're willing to do anything for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like, calm down. Calm down. Take your child to Sunday school. <laughs> Let us give us a chance. I don't know, and I'm, not, I'm just, and I'm just kind of like, you yeah, know, just uh, because, in, uh, contrary to the statement I just made, I believe that they both can exist, and I think I'm both. Mm-hmm. I think I am. What do you think, Ella? I think I'm both, definitely. Mm. Yeah, because of the way, like people that I I love, and people always think that it's always like family you know when i consider people in my circle i'm like okay so you know when you you play play in your head and it's like when i'm rich rich like i would go and i tell tk to go just go online and fill up a cut and i'm sorting it out for you it doesn't matter what kind of camera where you're traveling you want to go to cape flats and do your th- boy here's the money yeah. You know, and I think about Can everybody. You the Go back to the previous no, I'm, I'm always following you. I'm going to. I, I definitely would. Like I, you know, I I want to do that for my people because I love them so much. I want to financially be there for them as well. I want to financially love them as well. But if I can't, then you're definitely going to feel it in other ways too. You know, financially love. That's an interesting mm. expression to financially love someone. I think some people might agree with even that existence. Mm. Financially love. Because then Nick, Nick, Nick Cannon is financially loving all his kids. <laughs> which, is, which, which I think some people come from that kind of household and it's like there's a pro and a con. Yes, yeah. you have everything in the yeah. house. Yeah. But you don't know how to, for example, I guess for men, like I know for me in my childhood, I struggled tapping into my emotions for like most of my life until I became an adult. Mm. Because, yeah, dad was there financially. I got to do all the things. I got to do all the sports outside of schools. Got to, got, got to go to America and whatever else. But it's like, yeah, you're there, but not there. Mm. And that's, that's the pro and con. Like, okay, mm. yeah, you were driven to get money to keep us good. Yeah. Mm. But you weren't there. So that, 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 is, that is actually good that you said that. Because I grew up in a household where um, financially, like, we could do anything. I've done... All the sports, like everything that I wanted to do, you know, whatever we wanted to do, we we could do, right? But at the same time, I like my core memories are of in front of the fireplace. Um, there was something called guitar boogie. I'm very ticklish, so it was sitting on Dad's lap and just being tickled until like you just fall asleep because it's just too much. That kind of thing for me. So that's why I said I want to be able to send my kids 
you want to be an ice skater fine go you know but at the same time come i want to give them a hug and you know that yes. kind of stuff so it depends where you're coming from i suppose what it is that you desire maybe mm. you know within you that will lead or, or show and come out and manifest in the world mm. as you uh, you know move and gain wealth i suppose i think what's what's tricky is would you like the question almost sometimes becomes would you have preferred to not have done all of that stuff and your dad just been there the whole time mm. or the latter which is mm. he wasn't really there and you got to do all that stuff it's tricky can right? you answer that question even that's a very I can't because I almost feel like it's also like a necessary evil like like this is the one that's conversation good. I had yeah, with um, that's good conversation I had with my partner uh, yeah I said I, I told her I feel like kids need to go through some necessary evils mm. for example you need to get your heart broken mm. if you don't know what if you don't know what heartbreak feels like you won't know how to love right that's good mm. um or if you don't know what losing feels like how can you yeah. ever appreciate, appreciate what a win feels like yeah. Yeah. you have to go through the necessary evils yeah. yeah um and i feel like maybe and maybe some necessary evils are different for different people I think I needed to go through my necessary evil to become the man I am now. Mm. Like now I can confront my family and go, okay, when you, when you say we're being, we're being traditional, I've got questions about ABC. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And had I just been the guy who was coddled by my dad, I probably would have been a yes man and we're going to stay in the same problematic cycle yeah. we're in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. perhaps I needed to go through the privilege of having the access to do what I got to do with the lack of i guess f- the fatherly presence i needed mm. to become what i have now does that make sense mm. yeah We're, which is so crazy because and then in the bigger conversation we talk about like how you know uh, the men in our society let's talk essay mm. just for now specifically we have that issue and that's part of the problem mm. you know to say that and one end you're you're solid in certain aspects but in another you have to deal with all these issues when you grow up because of the latter yeah right yeah. and hence why you're saying i guess you're saying quote unquote necessary evil but it's also like there's just that twofold and now we're trying to like kind of create this new balance i guess where it's like you you're allowing certain things to happen but at the same time you kind of want to be there because you know what it was like yes. for your dad to not be mm. there like that you know yeah. so i think it was i think at the end of it all is like learn the lessons but we don't need the complete detriment yes. that that was almost kind of given to us to a certain degree you mm. know yeah. Damn it, see, we can't be wholesome. It's Good Friday, guys. <laughs> <laughs> These are the chats we have after your church service. <laughs> I just want to know, as as black people, I'm disappointed a little bit. Um, <laughs> like, don't come like, for me. Like, I don't want the government to come for me, right? But I'm disappointed in the fact that we can't keep stuff to ourselves, right? Only someone. So there was a student uh, who's from uh, the Eastern Cape, I think, Lungisani Mbutuma. Sorry, mm-hmm. that's butchered. But his name is Lungisani. Mm-hmm. Um, and with his NSFS funds, he built himself a two roomed house. So. Um, <laughs> okay. I think it's kind of smart, but okay. Well, I mean, it's fine. It's smart. But why does he have to now tell everybody about it? Okay. Like the girl who, who found Continue. money in her account. Why do you have to go and buy your wigs and wait until you're out of college or university? You're going to ho- keep quiet <laughs> I'm with quiet. 14 million in your account. I am you think you have the ability up. in your... You just came out of puberty. <laughs> you think you have the maturity to go, I'm going to say nothing. I have money I've never seen You before. know that... Exactly. That's the point. It's no. money that... You know that it's you not just... Yours. Think Where's about it. Scum? All of us, when you're in puberty, you're stupid. You can't <laughs> rationalize. No, and I think you're studying medicine or something, right? Clearly, that means you need something in your head <laughs> that'll tell you, eat shut up until you get out of here, and then you can say, ah, oh, it's because I've been working. Imagine seeing 500, half, not even a million, half a million. You've never seen that in your account. Of I, course, you're going to go, but now you're going to be smart about it. Yeah. But at 19, it's my time now. I'm up. 
Guys, I don't think we should judge the kids. You, haven't you like taken I'm money? The kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> judging them. Like, Most haven't you definitely. taken money that you shouldn't have when you were little? You saw like Turandinyan and then you just did that, and then you you eat and then you wipe your mouth. Yo, marimita. No, guys. It's the same you can't judge the kids. thing. It's not. It's the same thing. It is. Guys, okay. You're finally an adult and you can decide for yourself. You see, money you've never had the chance to ever touch. There is no way you can be composed and go for the next three years. I think, that. look, I, I get that. Like, I think for the majority, mm. fine. I get that. We're just telling what we would have done. Mm. You, I don't believe you guys. I don't, think, I don't think you guys would have been, okay, we're going to keep quiet and do nothing and act like we... Because he built, no. he yeah, built his same, house. I've been the same guy. Bro. You don't have to now. It doesn't really matter. The same guy. You would have the iPhone 28 Pro no, I've at been 19. The same guy. I, I won dance competition. Nobody knew I had money, bro. You danced? You see? Even you see? Me about you see? You see? You see? That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Old I won dance competitions and I never told anybody I had money. Never. I would All have you need like, to do is bro, no, but that's different. No. You earned the money. You know what's the saying? No. If, if money no. lands in your no, account no, no, no. for no. nothing you did. No, no, no. Here's the principle we're talking mm-hmm. about. The principle is if you have money more than usual, yeah. would you then be overly mm. for me that's not a real thing bro i've i've seen it and you will never know it because i'm finna pull up the same I'm finna pull up on a nah. wednesday to come to at 19 Cape. That, but that's okay I, no, no no but that's also why i'm saying yeah maybe then let's say Ugh. commonly i don't think it's a common reaction that's yeah. where i'm agreeing with you i am i'm just then saying if you ask me Bro, I was in grade 10 with 15,000 in my account. My parents didn't know. They See, didn't. Okay, but also See, where we come from, we are around people with that kind of privilege. That does okay, shape how we that. see money. No, 100%. So, so hence why I'm like, to, to the chat, I say that I think for some people, most people would kind of react some type of way. Yeah, I they would. Out. You know, like... You're you were, you were gonna, you yeah, yeah, he's balling out. Like he's cool. Like, like yeah, yeah, he's balling out. Wait, you know what? Are you, are you, it's fine. But then what I would do is because there's things like in this day and age, you are studying whatever. I would go online and say, guys, I'm into forex. How are you gonna prove it? You can't. All I'm saying is, I'm into oh, forex. That'd be your first option. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is this is the storyline. I am into forex, so that when I start getting the cars and the whatever, whatever, nobody's now saying, oh, she must have. Pulled a heist, some Slipped no. Professor. They're not going to give me Ferrari money, please. So, they, <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> like they, they, people need to tie it. Like we like to tie things into a little bow. Yeah, yeah. Once they can tie it into a little bow, they leave you the lo- the hell alone. So you tell them that I'm and I've got an online business. I sell handbags. Oh, it must be doing really well, you know. And then from handbags, you move to whatever, whatever. You aren't doing those things. Right, but it gives an explanation it's as to why. It's a money laundering tactic, just by the way. I don't know. I, don't, I still don't. I still don't agree with you guys. I don't believe. I don't. I still don't believe you guys. You don't believe us. No, I believe. I believe Sia. He will drop out. I would have tried. Yeah, Which would yeah. like be weird. Like how much was it? Fourteen. Because yeah. that also uh, with that explanation. Fourteen, not forty. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. One yeah. four. One still, four. I would have left. Even you with what you say, school. you're representing a uh, university. Yeah, I would have dropped out. 14. Why? Hold on, but let, 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 let's freeze on that thought because you're essentially saying you equating getting a degree to being the answer to your problems, and now that you got money to solve the problem, you don't need the degree at the time, yeah? Because they're telling you that the yeah. degree is going to get the you money. Is, I get, I get how probably thinking. I wouldn't have made wouldn't that money, and that's probably like okay, 25, 30 percent of the country, well, of of our of the youth generation, yeah, who would think like that, like, oh, if I got the money, why do I need the degree? That's the point, yeah. Hmm. So, cause, cause my whole thing is this. My whole thing is like, there's the reason why, like most of the time, you're struggling with the st- with the studying thing, is because you also have like ten other issues yes. Yes. on your mind that if you had fourteen million, you could quiet those things down mm-hmm. very nicely. Study, get your degree. Sure. Do you, because now you're not worried about what you're going to eat when it hits 8 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. You're not worried about your power going out because of electricity. You're not worried about the fact that you still owe in your fees and you don't even know if you're going to write the exams that mm-hmm. you're studying for. 
you're not worried about the fact that your mother might call or your sister might text you saying, yo, we learned this and mom is stressed out. Yeah. You just quietly just sort that stuff out and then it just goes like quiet. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you can folk because that's that's Caucasian privilege. Oh, yes. That's why the discipline. Mm. That's why mm-hmm. that's why the yeah. what was that? Yeah, saying, but this is snowfall Calvin. No, no, no. no, no Calvin you, in, as an adult. No, no he's no, looking no, at it. Bro, you are you still looking at looking at it from the lack perspective you're still looking at it from the lack yeah, perspective if you listen to him you have. you're saying that okay so my mom called mm-hmm. and i gave up let's let's just assume because sometimes we go into certain careers because they said that money is here yeah. right yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's just assume that you are studying something that you're really passionate about okay. so you don't have to drop out you okay, want to yeah. study it you're good at it right mm-hmm. cool so home calls and they say we've got a lack here then whatever you sort it out mm-hmm. Your girl says, I want to, you sort it out. I don't right? have a girl, I'm Everything. breaking up with her. See, there's one thing I'm doing, I'm you breaking see, up with you her. See, you are toxic. Girl. You see, money one over love here. Yeah. <laughs> that I cannot even begin to understand. I, 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 what? Money over love. What? Let's go. What? I, why? What? No, 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 no. You just said everything is quiet and you can now focus. My right? girl's not going to be quiet. I needed to not. She's not. Oh, that's a good point. No, no, no. She's you're not, not saying go and here's a wig. Here's a no. You're not doing that. She you said just, I need three k weave and I paid for three k weave. No, she, she doesn't know about sneaker. Or something. She doesn't know about that money, right? Yes. But you know that she's been on the noodles kind of thing yeah. for the whole month. Yeah. So this month you like I two k Jinyana here. You know, you're yeah. not going to because you Calvin. You're not yeah. going to just you just give her just a little. I don't see why you have to dump her. I probably am. I won't lie. You, I'm being sir. honest. No, like, I know. especially in varsity, I'm being honest. Now it's different. No, I, I, I think now, now you, in varsity, you high and fire. Like, varsity. now you have to disclose it. <laughs> no, I don't. Why no, Why are you suddenly getting picked up by Uber Black everywhere no, you go? No, I get picked up by Uber Black on any given day when I'm good. Mm-hmm. So right now, I still <laughs> won't disclose that information. Mm-hmm. I've, told, I've told my mother, I said, Ma, if it, I, I probably will never tell you, I'll just do what I need to do. Okay, so now I've got to ask you, you win the lotto tonight. Are you telling yeah. your partner? No. <laughs> bro, come on. Bro. Are you telling your partner? I am. I I'm used to say no, but I am now. Nah, well, when I Ellen. Nope. Nah. I'm not telling really? my partner. What? This, 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 this? one. No. Guys, <laughs> is it this now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take this home. Oh, man. <laughs> Run through your bullets, run through your bullets, I run through my bullets, you take this over. Let, let me and tell you, push. let me tell you, you can, <laughs> listen, just fix life, do what you need to do, everything is fine, bro, ain't nobody needs to treat you different, everybody just needs to be the same way they were yesterday or before it landed, that's exactly how I need them to be, but everything is, that's the thing, if, the way I look at it, it's it's the three people on you know how how F and B works, right? The three last payments that you made, you're mm. gonna see there, oh, yeah, yeah. right? Those <laughs> <laughs> those are the people. I don't necessarily have to tell them, but believe you me, those people are going to be generously rewarded. No, most definitely. Or given, yeah. They will know. They won't. Yes. They might not know. No, it was 105 million. They might not know that, but they're gonna know that that Ellen's nice. She she's she's I good. Won't, I won't even lie and to I would that. give them I'd give them the money because Yeah, I'm not doing that at all. Yeah, no. No, no, no. No one will know. So Ellen's You like, just the, said your partner's the, gonna the, know. So the, I can tell that my sister. That would be the only person I know because I know she will take my secrets to the grave. That's the, that's good. Yeah. As for everyone else, pocket checking. I'm not doing that. I'll help you out if I see it's bad, mm. I'll come and rescue you. Uh-huh. But don't ask how about the money. Mm. Just know you owe me. <laughs> In some fashion or form, don't you don't owe me money, but you're I'm, gonna owe yeah, me your, I'm not your time. very, I'm not very good. I'd probably have to like come to you for like some, like assistance or advice as to how to, not overly, yeah, yeah you don't, know, want to give people do money. because because especially, I think more so especially with like, with black folk, black folk can't behave around money. I don't know how to we're learning i think it's i think that it's going to take two three generations as we yeah yeah we're learning most yeah. definitely i believe that i believe that i mean the hence why you know we can talk about if we really go deep into it we'll start talking about like investing yeah. and blah, 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 blah. you know like but so you're like, not even going to say like out of the 105 m that you got maybe just take a million and just go crazy and the rest like once you're done with that you're done you're not even saying like 
I just need to get it out of me. Yeah, yeah, me look copy throne. Yeah, just yeah. yes, man. <laughs> but you see, that's how the guy with the Rolls Royce got caught because of that. Mm. Let me just spoil myself. I deserve nah, it. Nah, bro. Because like, mm. yeah. And I think it's it's because if you 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 always like kind of create the excuse for it. Yeah. That's my that's my thing. Unless you just like kind of keep calm and keep yeah. composure, you know. And I've I've now had to teach teach myself. So like even now, yes, completely different than when I was in like varsity. But the only thing is to your exposure chat is that I I think I was exposed already to a certain degree. Yeah. So my acumen for the if that would happen, it would be to just kind of like remain a little bit calm. I think back then maybe I would have told like my closest friend. Probably, maybe my mother as well, but now it's like, I I probably would like nine out of ten I won't say anything. Yeah. The only thing is that I've said to the close people around me like, when when I'm good, you guys will you guys will know it. You won't know what it looks like, but you'll know it yeah. because you guys will feel it. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't even go to family gatherings in an expensive car. I'll buy a broke no, down you, car. Yeah, you come in the i ten. Yeah. You really come. You mustn't in the think I-10. that there's an X five. Nah, that's not me. Hey. <laughs> I was listening for, for some reason. My 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 playlist landed on Pop Smoke this morning, <laughs> and I thought of a Mustang, and I was like, "Boy, <laughs> trust me." You don't worry about pocket checking. No, like for me, people. There's not a. Do you think that that doesn't happen in your family? I know that it does, just not with me. Interesting. But if you come with a Mustang, you don't think people are gonna go, hmm. No, I think right because now be at, fine. at the moment yeah. people are as, assuming that this right here, nigga, it's paying, and I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> I've actually it's received not. stuff like that. It's like you guys are doing well. <laughs> like, yeah. we, you know, thank you, M Studios. Um, <laughs> yeah, shout out to M Studios. <laughs> <laughs> we, we look crispy, but uh, if yeah. you could donate, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. So they assume that, but nobody calls out to me for hey. You know, can we have a little? I don't know. It's this, like I said, I've got this RBF, you yes. know, that I've got going on that people don't approach me in that manner. But I will be coming to the next family gathering in something for no good reason. Or I'll get it for my daughter. She wants an SRT, like <laughs> hectic, hectic. Yeah, I don't trust my family like that. I, I like cars. Oh, so, so I definitely am going to come. I'll come in something very, like a very old, like. Man, a yeah. classic. I just, I just think like that, that hectic switch, that immediate switch. It's not going to be immediate. That cause, it's an indication. It causes, pro- causes problems. I can see my yeah. like a gradual. Yeah. A gradual makes sense because like, for me, and if like it hit now, I know that the splurge will probably be between the three, three year three or four mark, mm. and it won't even be at home. It'll be out the country. Yeah. And then like four, but and like you'll start seeing it at home. You start seeing it like my mother's house, like yeah, my mother's yeah. driving, like that's how you start. I'd seeing rather want to see it like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you'll see like with them, like okay, damn, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, last Mom's year, tired and like, all that type of stuff. I mean, last year I had a fairly decent year in my business. Mm. I get a call from my aunt randomly. Do you know how you're doing? I see you. I saw your name on the credits on some TV show. Mm means you're doing well oh my when i heard that expression and that and how she said it i thought okay yeah i need to minimize my movements because yeah, yeah. i can see families look at me different yeah, yeah so even if i do end up winning or doing better this year i got a, i got family members who are problematic yeah For and sure. you're going to disrupt the movements i'm trying to set i'm trying to put in place yeah it's like i don't know i don't know why families do that for me and tk was working here they don't even know how i got the job and then yes. just started posting on Instagram the day Spool tagged me because mm. there's kids at home. Yeah. Yo, my phone. Like, it was nuts. Oh, yeah. Then this December, I went home and yeah. it yeah, was yeah, like. Yeah, I remember. They're expecting now. Yeah, it's like, are we good? Tina's mm. great. Oh, hey. So now I don't. Yeah, I had to, I had to explain that whole thing to, to, my, to my mother specifically, but just to the household to be like, yo, I just need you guys to get this clear. Like, what you see on TV doesn't translate how you think it translates. Yeah. Like, this is the matrix. This is this. Th- I had to explain that to yeah. them. So that at least more than anything, my my immediate family understands and they don't feel some type of way yeah. 
and then just gradually extended like more recently i remember i was back home in around december for a funeral actually and yo the chats ah no you ah da, 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 da. i'm like no guys i'm just working just mm. like you yeah. i'm also working yeah. Yeah. you know um but yeah it's 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 such a disadvantage that they that that's just not how it equates yeah yeah i don't have anyway. that so i'm cool <laughs> no i don't have like family that i don't have an aunt that's going to i mean they there yeah but my name doesn't appear on their radar at all ever mm. you know so they might see this but still it doesn't so that's why i'm saying that the people that actually matter are those three that i see on my list and they will know everybody else i could like literally pull up in a car and they'd look at me and on some and they'll come to their own conclusions but they're not going to say okay let's now ask they're just going to treat mm. as it was so i'm, I'm fine dope. dear lord jesus 105m please thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay let's take this off um yeah. you, is it is there any main points on your phone or on your phone that you want to quickly say and uh, then and i'm good yeah um well i think just like entertainment wise big shout out to tyler she dropped her album Mm-hmm. this week I haven't Apparently listened to it 600 million so she's the most streamed Streams. African right now uh, she just topped uh, Rima this is another chat Dude. we'll have this chat yeah so we should start yeah. another show if you guys want off the cuff <laughs> put in the comments say off the cuff uh, then we know you guys want an extended version um, government yeah. employees are getting a 4.7 increment um, in their oh, salaries yeah, from like the first of April, even though that is nowhere near what they, you know, obviously looking for, which is the story of South Africa. Can the we next... just do your job first? Just do your job. Guys, yeah, next time we'll get into that. The, yeah. Well, I'm just trying to understand. They're getting increases. An increase of 4.7%. Forget the increase. Work work that everybody, that they don't do. though, not everybody, TK. Someone is petting the weave at home affairs, going being Wait. rude to someone. Exactly. Do you know why <laughs> they're there? Offline. Because somebody said that if you can get a government position, you sit. It's medical aid. It's housing. It's whatever. It's whatever. So they are there. They are not passionate about the job. But then you get doctors okay. and nurses who are and aren't being compensated okay. correctly. Good point. You're making me hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only two things I want to talk about was the Kendrick's response to Cole and Drake and then the yeah. Speaker of Parliament accepting bribes big, up to four million. Big three. Hey. Yeah. Uh, but speaker accepting bribes up to four million. Up to four million. She's been, yeah. re- for the past, uh, correct me, I, I, I read the article but I didn't finish it. She's been, up up to up to now, mm. it's amounted to four million. Yeah. I can see that. And a wig. I don't know why the article and wrote no, it. Like, <laughs> it had to be spicy. That had to be spicy. It was four why, million and a wig. Like, why? Why did you? <laughs> why would you write it like this? You didn't see how she got caught. I didn't see how she got caught. Please just let's let's have a look and see because that. Because be there there was a breakdown on when she received deposits. Yeah. So was the first. I think the first one was like two hundred k. I forgot what the second and third one was. But basically, when they amounted all of it, it was like, oh, this was in a bank statement. Guys, what was happened a, to a invoicing? Like, what, where are the bribes coming from? Different people. Uh, different people. Yeah. Uh, yeah they should, uh, you know what? Let me not. Create yeah. an invoice. Yeah. Not that I know much about the stuff. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the last one was how elections are impact, will impact workers. Mm. Um, they really wrote an article for the American elections coming up. There's a South African one coming up. Um, apparently, 36% of workers, um, this is from research, 36% of workers in America couldn't do their job properly just because of the elections. Because there are colleagues now that they can't talk to just because of their political views. Oh, yeah, it yeah, changes yeah. the whole dynamic in the, in mm-hmm. the room. Yeah. And I wonder what that's like for South African. For South I think African we're getting politics. more and more vocal about who we stand with now. Yeah, but I think we're a lot better like in terms of like, yeah. Like if you believe in whatever, or you st- going to believe in, but like stand for, mm. it's like, we might, yo, know, why blah, blah, soccer. blah, but I think, uh, soccer. Chiefs and, yeah, Chiefs Chiefs and, and Pirates, Pirates, we'll have our thing, and then yeah. once we're out, we're yeah. out. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we have that. There's, there's really... If ANC gets knocked out, it will be bad. I think they will. I don't think they will. I don't think... I think it's it's for a little while. Your nails are red. It's a good indicator. <laughs> like I said, this morning I was oh, listening to Pop Smoke. The... Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, guys, there's there's somebody, hey, man, doing a very good job in my life. Listen, what I'm trying to say is, where was I now, TK? <laughs> 
Curses, no, yeah. but um, I think that um, the ANC will still be in power for a little bit longer. The margins are going to be like... It's probably in one more term. Pupol shakingly slim, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you needed to know that it's going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> but I think, I still, I, th I still think they're going to be in power for a little bit longer um, because of people who say one thing and then do the next. Sure. I think so. Yeah. All right, cool. Vote EFF. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just don't vote ANC. I don't know about EFF, but just don't vote ANC. Vote MK. Vote That's why what? you're wearing green today. MK. We see you. That's still ANC. For real? Come Bruh. on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take this off. Calvin, Ellen. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. What did you just say? Well, I love that one a week because. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, never mind. Something's on stale. They just. You know what? No, but we were here first. <laughs> I'm sure. done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. We appreciate you guys. Wait. Uh, please do continue to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and engage with us on social media. Uh, engage with the post on Instagram as we post the content as well. And let us know um, from the conversation what your comments are or any questions that you might have in terms of what we spoke about. Uh, we appreciate your support. And love, share this to a friend um, if you think that they have a comment or two. We appreciate it one time. Have a good week. This was before your weekend where we speak about the week before it ends. One time. You watch it before you weekend. You watch it before you weekend.